All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's McCookie here, bringing you guys another combined gameplay. Sorry about the back-to-back -back upload on combined. Just wanted to apologize, but it happened to be combined because this is my first game playing with my brand new Battle Beaver controller. Battle Beaver, Battle Beaver, say that f three times fast. Battle Beaver Customs controller. This was the first game I got into. And I'm here to basically just wanted to talk about my initial reactions with the controller. Can't even call it impressions because this is still the one and only game I played with the controller. I basically, I've been waiting for that for the uh, controller to arrive for like three weeks now. Basically, uh, the company had some delays with the with the uh, build of the controller due to holiday rush, which is what they told me. So it finally arrived today, weirdly on a Sunday, and I just couldn't wait to try it out and see how it was. And basically. Those of you who don't know, a Battle Beaver is basically similar to a Scuff, technically a modded controller. Um, I was going to get a Scuff, but the reason why I didn't was number one was the price. They're really expensive, and I also didn't really care too much for the reviews I read of the product itself as far as durability goes and customer service, but that's for another video. Uh, basically... I got the most bare bones controller I could, I could because all I really wanted to get was a controller that had buttons on the back of the controller so that I could jump and aim my gun while I'm jumping because a lot of times in this game I am very hesitant to wall run or even jump in combat because I playing on my normal controller before I would have to take my right thumb off of the stick to hit the X button, because I'm on PS4, to hit the X button, which is to jump. So, I basically, I hopped in here, and that's why you see me sliding around and jumping around kind of goofy and stuff. It's because I'm trying to get used to the buttons. They're basically on the back of my controller handles, and I'm hitting them with my middle finger. So I kind of had to get used to holding the controller a little lower, uh, like my fingers are, are resting, my index fingers are resting a little lower on the controller. And this is basically my first gameplay, just jumping in, getting used to the controller and how it felt. And you'll notice right off the bat, I am doing jump shots like crazy because it is super easy now and really comfortable and natural feeling to pull off jump shots. Like right here, watch this. Bam, get outplayed, son. I could never in a million years do that with a regular controller. I mean, I could try. Three-piece, son, with the gravity spikes. I mean, I could try, but even right here, like you guys are going to see in this video, the, the, this, the buttons on the back, they really save my ass. And I'm not even used to it yet. I, I'm still adjusting. Not only am I getting used to the buttons on the back in this gameplay, but I'm also getting used to regular uh, PS4 controller sticks again because I basically, what I did was, um, another reason why I chose Battle Beaver pretty much is it's really flexible and the customization is really good. And what I was able to do was basically order a completely stock, like regular PS4 controller that only came with uh, two buttons on the back. I have a button on the back of the left handle, which is connected to my X button for jumping. And then I have one on the right handle, which is for sliding or going crouch or drop shotting, I guess you can say. Um, basically, every time you guys see me jumping or sliding in this video right now, I'm hitting the buttons on the back of the controller, or I'm at least trying to. And that's why you see me able to, you know, keep my aim on point while I'm in the air. Like right here, watch this. Jumping in the air and I have perfect aim on this guy. I can never do that before with my other controller. And I noticed um, it's also really good for not only gunfights, but getting out of tough, sticky situations. I can slide and double jump my way away from a grenade or whatever. Slide, get that double pants. I call the gravity spikes the pants, guys, because if you look in the kill feed, it looks like a pair of pants. Uh, Bushmeat came out with that name and we me and my homies we've been using that name for the gravity spikes ever since so shout out to Bushmeat watch this death right here this is hilarious I'm like oh free kill on this guy he's AFK controlling a kill streak that ends up targeting and killing me he was basically controlling the dart and trying to kill me at the same time that I was killing him pretty funny kill trade right there and again another jump shot guys jump shots for days with this controller I'm definitely going to be adjusting the way I play Black Ops 3 from here on out, and I'm pretty excited because this really expands the way I can play, and the reason why I like these buttons on the back so far is it makes the movement system in this game feel a lot more natural and refined to me because the way the buttons are on the back of the controller and the way I don't have to move my thumbs off the sticks as I get another triple gravity spike kill is it just feels, the word I'm looking for is ergonomic. 
and it just feels really natural to kind of just slide and jump around now that I don't have to take my thumb off the right stick that I need to use for aiming. I can just instantaneously, instantaneously jump and shoot my controller at the same time. So this Battle Beaver controller, I've only played one game so far, and I see a lot of potential to do some serious work, especially when I get used to it. But I think what I was saying before I got off track is I'm getting used to the stock PS4 sticks because on my other controller, the um, the rubber on the left uh, thumbstick basically peeled off to the point where there was only hard plastic underneath. And I ended up buying not Control Freaks, but something similar like an off-brand kind of thing. They're not super high up like Control Freaks, but they are maybe a few centimeters higher than the stock ones because I basically super glued them to my thumbsticks. So I'm basically getting used to playing on lower thumbsticks and it kind of affected my aim in this gameplay. Um, ended up going 50 and 25 in this game, which is a pretty crappy score. I mean, I guess it's a 2.0 KD, but that's a lot of depth. And that's basically because I was just sliding and jumping around probably a lot more times than I should have, but I had a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, here's the class setup I was using. The Weevil with the stock, the quick draw, and the extended mag, rocking flag jacket, hard, uh, not hardwired, fast hands, and scavenger, as well as tactical mask. And overall, I am very excited to continue using this controller to play. I'm going to use it a lot more tonight and get more gameplay with it. And from here on out on this channel, you will be seeing Battle Beaver Customs controller gameplay. Super excited, yo. Just wanted to share my first reactions on basically how the controller feels playing Call of Duty in case you guys were thinking of getting a modded controller. So far, so good. First reactions are good. I'll give an update video later on with my actual first impressions when I have more playtime in. But for now, that's all I have to say about my new controller. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe for more. I will catch you guys on the next one. Muck cookie out.